Hi folks, Chris Renane here today. Now this video is just to show you what's inside a cathode ray tube television case. Now just remember, I'm not a qualified technician, so never, ever, do this at home unless you know what you're doing and you know the dangers associated. Never poke and prod around inside a cathode ray tube case, especially anywhere near the cathode ray tube, unless you know what you're doing. Now, as you may remember from one of my previous videos, this is my small Sanyo 13 inch colour television. Pretty new actually, so it's a good little example. I've already removed the screws from the case just to save time. So, let's take a look shall we. Remember, if you ever do do this, be very careful removing the case as it can be quite easy to break the neck off. Which would render your television a dumpster candidate. So, for starters, here's the main circuit board here. This is where a lot of the good stuff happens. You've got your coaxial here, audio visual jacks here, and your high voltage flyback transformer with potentiometers for focus and screen. Now, also, usually on either side of the screen or below it, you've got two speakers here. Now, this big scary looking glass thing, that's a cathode ray tube. Let's start from the top, shall we? This is the neck board up here. You can gently pull it off very gently. To show a small socket and pins. Now, up in here, though you can't see it, it takes up part of a space in the neck here, you've got the electron gun. Well, it's technically a lens holding three electron guns, which, which shoot three beams at the screen, which hit appropriately coloured phosphors, red, green and blue. Now, you'd think that if to fire those beams at the screen, you wouldn't get much angle because of the neck here. But, that's where this important piece comes in. It's called the deflection yoke. It's essentially just a big electromagnet around the neck to direct the beams horizontally and vertically across the screen to cover the entire screen. Now, the electron gun can scan the screen up to 60 times a second. So just imagine how fast this thing's working. Now, down here we've got a sort of, uh, conductive paint which covers the outside of a tube. It's called an aquadag and I believe it's usually made of graphite. Now, there's also conductive paint on the inside of a tube so it makes it one big capacitor. If you don't know what a capacitor is, it's one of these things. This is an electrolytic capacitor. There are different kinds, but Essentially, they just store a certain amount of charge and rapidly um, release it. This thing, these CRTs, can hold up to 32,000 volts. Not something you really want to mess with unless you know what you're doing. And it would most certainly be fatal to our dad. Now, here we've got our anode. And I believe cathodes and anodes are commonly used as supplements for negative and positive on batteries and other whatnots. Now, up here we've got three cathodes, one for each of our appropriate coloured beams. Oh, the beams aren't coloured, it's just for phosphors I hit. Now, down here you can kind of see inside the tube, and I believe, though you can't very well see it, the shadow mask in there, it's just essentially a big metal mask about, I believe it's half an inch behind the screen, with millions of little dots. And they just align the electron beams with the appropriately coloured phosphors on the screen to produce the images you see. Now, just lastly, down here we've got the rim band. Never, ever remove that. And also, 
on the screen we've got tensioned wires. Those are just to reduce the damage should it implode. Now, just remember on larger CRTs they can have up to 10 tons of air pressure around them. That's how great the vacuum is. On this small little one, wouldn't be quite as much, but still, not something you really want to mess with. So, just to cap it all off, this is what a CRT looks like inside. So just remember, don't ever go pulling one of these apart unless you know what you're doing and the dangers associated with it. Okay, have a good afternoon and stay safe. Cheers.